Okay, so we've got Express installed. We've got our server running and listening on port 5000, which is cool, but we don't have any web pages yet to serve up and we have no routing for that. So let's do that in this video. So head back over to Sublime and I'm just gonna go up to Node Stock, right click and create a new folder. And you can see down here at the bottom, we can name it. And I'm just gonna name this Public. You can really call it anything you want, but uh, Public seems all right. So now in here, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna file save as, let's call this index.html. Now I'm just gonna grab a quick template file from Bootstrap. So I'm gonna to go to getbootstrap.com, click on documentation, and just scroll down here to the starter template and copy this. We just need some HTML to put in our index page. So I'm gonna right click paste. Up here, I'm just gonna tinker with this a little bit. Get rid of that comma, cause that's weird. All right, go ahead and save this file. Control S, Command S if you're on a Mac, or just go up here to File, Save. Okay, so we've got an index page. Now we need to create a path and a route to that. So in order to do that, it used to be really, really hard to do all your routing in Node, or at least time consuming. With Express, it's super, super easy. All we have to do is create a um, static folder and just point our app to it. Well, we did, we created this public folder, but now we need to tell our app where that is. So we go app.use and then express.static. And then inside of that, we want path.join. And then inside of that, we want underscore, underscore, D-I-R-N-A-M-E, and then the name of that directory, which was just public. All right, we want our semicolon at the end of that. So now, we're using this path.join. This path thing defines the path to our public directory, but we don't have path installed. So let's come up here and let's put our semicolons at the end of the, I always leave off the semicolons. You really shouldn't. You can get away with it, but not a good idea. So in order to add path to our, our little app here, we just go const path and then set it equal to require, uh, let's see path, right? So I think that will do. So now if we save this, cancel, <laughs> I head back over here and hit control C to break out. It's the control button and the C button at the same time to break out of our server. We need to restart it. Every time we make a change to our index file, we need to restart our server. It's kind of annoying. I'll show you in the next video a way to get around that. But for now, we just have to turn it off and then turn it back on so we can hit uh, node index.js. Now I just pressed up the up arrow key and it auto printed the last command so I don't have to keep typing it. So that's kind of nice. So we get our little message server listing on port 5000, which was right here. We created that, right? So now we can come back here and let's reload and boom, hello world, which is uh, index.html right here. Now I'm going to wrap this in a div real quick container and then close that save this and hit reload it just bops it over a little bit so very very cool now anytime we want to make any sort of changes to this web page we just do it right here you know we can add something else this is my first node program Woohoo! right so if we save this come back hit reload this is my first node program Woo right so very, very cool. Now, if you're old school node, you're like, yeah, but we didn't create any routes. We didn't, that's the great thing about Express. This line right here is all the routing we will ever have to do for static files. Static files are files that aren't ever gonna change, right? In the future, we're gonna create a stock market app and we're gonna get data from a third party API and we're gonna put that data on the screen. That's dynamic, it will change. So we'll have to do something different for that. But for these type of pages, just basic pages, this is a great way to do it. Now, you can come up here and right click on your public and create a new file. Let's go file, save as, and let's call this one about.html. Now, if I go to my index page and just copy all this code, and paste it in here, instead of hello world, we type in about me. If we save this, now, if we come to about.html, Express automatically finds that page and serves it up to us. You know, if we change this to whatever.html, we get an error because there is no whatever.html page. 
but there is an about page now, so it shows it. There is an index page, so it shows that. And also it just puts the root as the index page when there's nothing at all, just the root URL, because Node knows that an index file is the root file always. So very, very cool and super easy. And we've already got a fully working Node website right here. I mean, this is all you really need for a static website. Now, obviously, excuse me, our website is gonna be more than just a static website. We'll get into all that later. But as far as getting started really quick, building a, a basic website, you really just can't beat that for super easy and super fast, right? It's one of the great things about Node. So that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll show you a little tip to where you don't have to restart the server every time because that gets a little annoying. Uh, there's a way around that and I'll show you how to do that in the next video.